Same old, same old, Dan. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. have, uh... Oh, yeah, that's the way life goes, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, Kenny, you think? I think so. I'm trying. I think I messed it up. Yeah, we saw it. We saw you for a second. There it is. Here we gotcha. Kenny. How's Florida? Florida was awesome. Let's go. Like super awesome. Yeah. I would um <laughs> I would go right back. <laughs> it was nice. We went to the Anna Marie Island and uh stayed in like a rental. And then uh the last few days of trips we drove from Anna Marie Island, which is kinda by Sarasota. And we went from there to um my folks in Key Largo and stayed a few days there, so it was cool. Yeah. Remember where I took that I took that prednisone? Because my I was hoarse, so I took that prednisone the la this last time, and then I got a rash all over my body, like everywhere. But it was like it was just like only where you would wear a t-shirt. But it was it was terrible, and it lasted weeks and weeks. So I guess I'm, uh, you know, before when you and I had taken them, we'd each taken a half or something, right? Mm. Half of the prednisone. Well, evidently, if I take a whole prednisone, it's all over, and I'm I'm breaking <laughs> out, so I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Played any Rocket King stuff in a while. I, I, I will send you. I will send you the thing though. I'll record it and I'll send it to you. That's good. So mastering. How about let's talk about that. What do you got for us, Jesse? Okay, uh, I got an email. I emailed um, Mark Glazer takes care of UE's scheduling at Sterling Sound, which moved to New Jersey now, Kenny. Uh, Hey Mark, wrapping up mixes from me. Hey Mark, wrapping up mixes for new Rocket King album. Please shoot me a quote for UE mastering for iTunes CD and vinyl. Nine tunes total. Hope all's well over there. Haven't talked to anybody since you guys moved to Jersey. Regards, Jesse. He said, "Hey, how are you? I hope all's well. UE was off on Friday. Sorry for the delay. For nine tracks total to be eighteen hundred for the main versions." You know, for EQ mastering, mastering for iTunes is 500 bucks extra. Uh, CDs free, of, of course, because nobody orders CDs. And vinyl is another 500, so that's 2800 total. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. And I said, you know, we were shooting for the by the end of the year. Well, it's January, but whatever. So you I don't give a shit. Oh, no. uh, and you probably don't either. Uh, but what do you get exactly for eighteen hundred? Uh, your CD mixed for a CD. Yep, or mastered for a CD. Or, I'm sorry, mastered for a CD. But you can't yep. take that master and use that for Spotify. You can use it. 
you can use it for iTunes and, or you know that and that's what we've done in the past so what you do is you get a 16 bit 44.1 K mix for that that CD baby takes and transfers and that's what our previous records are all CD quality now in theory this would be whatever quality we're sending them which I think is 24 bit 88.2 is what we mix down to so it would be a higher quality on to you know that would be a separate thing so we wouldn't dither it down well, and then I, they do I, some I, other they, they do some other stuff now too like they crank your CD more than your iTunes because iTunes just equals all the volumes so there's no volume there's no like loudness for it anymore so there's actually you don't have to compress it nowadays if you're going to iTunes so that, five, that can, 500 extra on top of the 1800 the first 500 extra that says for Apple it's just for like a better quality so that's Apple it, a higher resolution uh, version so uh, essentially he's got to run the whole thing without compressing it as much if that makes sense that CD Baby and CD Baby uses that version to everybody uses that our digital distributor uses that would use that version would use the the I guess the less compressed not as loud higher resolution version the $2300 version then if we want vinyl vinyl's a vinyl's a totally different thing of course vinyl's um EQ differently than any digital stuff, so that's uh, you know, he actually runs that through the RIA curve and all that kind of stuff, and then has to cut vinyl and all that stuff, you know, cut a master off of it, a press, you know, a glass master or whatever. Okay. So that's kind of, a, I mean, the vinyl's kind of a deal if you ask me. Five hundred bucks. Yeah. Shit, this, you this didn't pay the 500 right. now, how much would it be for vinyl later? You'd do the whole session over again. 1800 bucks. Yep. At least 1800 At least. And maybe he cuts you a deal, I don't know. So... I know, I know, just, just for the, so everybody knows, I, in, on the last two albums, so that would have been Truth Will Set You Free and the live album, we paid for the vinyl to begin with, even though we've never pressed vinyl. If there's ever a moment in time we we send those two albums out for vinyl, you just call them up and say, hey, can you send the master to this pressing plant? And they just send it. We already paid. The same as you! Well, the, was the 1800 do you still have to do the 500 for the Apple you don't have to Kenny like you could do what we've done in the past and send the digital send the stuff to digital distributor in CD format which is just lower quality so essentially you know, now now people are starting like services are starting to carry like high qual high res audio instead of MP3s. Does that make right. sense? Mm -hmm. So, like our previous albums, we we'll only be able to get them in as high as CD quality forever, right? But as opposed to, huh? But isn't that good enough? Like, can you get really better than CD quality? Can you hear better than CD quality? Yeah. You can too. I mean, if you listen to a vinyl, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's 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 sixteen bit, and the problem isn't necessarily like, okay, I'm listening to the high res version on on a good stereo. Yeah. The problem is when they take the sixteen bit version and turn it into an MP3, and then you listen to it through these. That's when you get clunky. So the, the whole point of the iTunes mastering is you're trying to keep it as high as possible so that when the service distributes, distributes it to you, 
in MP3 format, they actually can send the MP3 to you in 20 bit, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it, the, the MP3 is actually more bit rate, but less kilohertz than a CD. So it's kind of like a Vita Media halfway. It's just, it, it's a bunch of jargon. They want to squeeze 500 bucks out of us to get, you know, essentially what I would consider coming off the tape into the into the ether forever, so to speak. But we've never done it. We've always sent them the CD in the past because we didn't. It didn't even exist. Oh, we're just fucking like crew this and wheels like <laughs> like and then bam, he smashes into one of the fucking machines. This guy ran over. Yeah. Ah, uh, he is fucked. Dude fell like, asleep at the wheel. I would. I would work. Cigarette and oxygen. Yeah. I would work and then I would go work out after work and then I'd wait. So fucking first call and I'd drive down there <laughs> and I'd gamble for a few hours, but I'd be the youngest person in there. Of course, by I'm fucking sure. far. Just spending their last money. I think on the last record, on the live record, they started to do that. You saw it mastered for iTunes, and it was like brand new because people were bitching about how MP3s were coming over. You know, like they were sounding like shit, but that's why. They, yeah, they do. So they 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 do that for that reason. If you're listening to a CD quality on a good system, you're you're probably happy, right? Right. It's that MP3, it's that dither into the MP3 that sucks. Is it is it worth the extra hundred sixty six bucks out of your pocket? I mean, as much time, I look at the album like we put all this time and all this care into making this album sound killer. I would pay 166 bucks. But that's me. Yeah. What's your thought, Kenny? <laughs> well, that's fine. So, I mean, do you guys even want to do that? I mean, if we, if we were to do this, uh, it's 933 bucks. A lot of money. I'm in. So. They're, it's top of the food chain stuff. I mean, that would be that'd be a good milestone to get through mastering, <laughs> real good milestone. And then, uh, and then, what, and then from there we have to talk about then what's what's next, right? Well, you know, with with two things, you could get um, going on the digital distribution. Those two things are a three hundred bit or three hundred pixel by three hundred pixel cover. Yeah, that's what it has to be a three hundred pixel by three hundred pixel cover, and um, the mastered for digital files. Yeah. You send those off to CD Baby. When they get those, you go through and I got to do like a bunch of, you know, put all our songwriting and BS and blah, 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 blah. And then, um, and then that stuff takes a little bit of time to process. <laughs> past this point what's now what what are we doing what can we do to push this or what's the plan for um rollout or yeah reviews or the review i would say reviews is the biggest uh, thing third, you know? third, whatever yeah where are you it's trying right. to where are you trying to uh put it out before you can start playing shows and stuff like really push I mean, it and put it out? I think so. I mean, I my my biggest concern is is certainly reviews. So, you know, the Martin Pop-Offs and the Sea of Tranquilities and those kind of like level of review, trying to get those type of level of reviews and, you know, like Classic Rock Magazine again, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But also every little place too, right? So we just have as many reviews as possible. And like the example being, um, Ghost of Sunset. I don't know if you if you see them on Facebook, but man, they get some review from somewhere every other day. Oh, okay. Right. It's amazing. They really do a good job with that. 
online presence. They're doing a great job, and then, and then you have something to post every other day about your album. And they've been doing that for three months, man. Four months, they've been posting something every every day. And the record's out now, but I mean, they've been posting something every other day, at least three times a week. And then I, I honestly have no idea when we can start gigging. I have one gig lined up in the near future, and that's just to do f- for the hell of it, because there's nothing to do. Yeah. And that's like a, a huge lake party. I, I don't know what else we would do. As far as gigs go, there's nothing, there's no gigs. Yeah, yeah I think it's still like... You know, a while back we were talking about spring, but I think it's going to be more summer or fall. It's a weird deal. I know, I know, like the Foo Fighters of the world have all given up, and they're just putting their they're putting their stuff. Out. Everybody seems to be putting stuff out in February. So I don't we're know just, why. We're just saying fuck it and and selling their song catalogs. <laughs> yeah, totally. Is that guy wearing a mask, or is that his face? What song? Uh, oh, was, uh, the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It's it a great song. It was, it was like this prosthetic thing he had made for the video. He has a whole so thing. That's not his face. No, no. <laughs> like I think he's trying. Yeah, I think he's trying to make a statement about like. I don't. I don't know. Like, being vain or whatever. I don't know. He's had like rats on like for months now. And people are like, what the hell is he doing? It's a whole marketing concept. Or really? His, his, videos, his videos for this newest album are fucking pretty cool, all of them are. Um, I really How's like it? that dude. I, I slept on that dude for a while, but he's like, I think probably like the closest thing to a Michael Jackson that we might have right now. The song was great. I just couldn't figure out what was going. It was like, you know, that movie with Jim Carrey where he's got a green face? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all I could think about. I was like, what in the hell is going on here? Yeah. Yeah, all the, all the videos he did for this newest album are fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, that's about all I got, other than, you know, uh, maybe everybody coming up with, like, I I've got a list of, like, 30 or more people that I want to review the record. So if anybody has any periodical that they typically read or website that they follow, email it or text it over and then I'll get it, you know, I'll start getting it to that. Hopefully um, uh, Brian uh, can help us, Hoekstra can get us help us. You know Brian, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you told me you were talking about him. Yeah, so hopefully Brian can help us get in with any of those review places that aren't just wouldn't just review it anyway. Most places, unless they're you know too cool for school, will do it. Okay. And you know, honestly, if we were if we're in February when we do it, it's not like a ton of stuff's coming out right now because of all this BS. So I would think that they would want content just like everybody else yeah you know mm-hmm. and then I mean, as far as I'm concerned we have two things to do after we get this record done and that's uh, get tight again and write tunes mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what else to do play a lake party <laughs> I don't know you know, I don't know what to do. Yeah.
Throw that lotion in. We should try to do we should try to get on one of those we should try to get on one of those shows that they do at the celebration studio park down here like they did all we'll summer. do it i don't know who who's booking those probably it's, through, uh, 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 listening room probably it, it's quinn is it quinn okay yeah right. i mean they already asked us to do it you know what okay. i mean yeah so, yeah, we should I mean, do but then they, they didn't do anything for the longest time. So then, is that like an outdoor? Now, when, once it's warm out, they could do those outside shows, right? right? On the on the astroturf. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's some kind of I don't know, you know, because we're doing art prize again this year. Yes, they're, so they're saying, yeah. Yeah, maybe look into I don't know, doing something around then. I, I you know, yeah. right? So, you got nothing. So they're gonna attempt to plan. So there, there's things we can do, like, the, like Dan, like you're saying. Mm-hmm. Well, we could do. I mean, I haven't looked. I haven't looked on the website, but I'm assuming that they're gonna book festival, which yeah. I need to get in. If they are, I need to get in by the end of this month, right? And that's. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't heard shit about anything like that. I mean, they're probably very. They probably don't know. Right. So, the, the, yeah. the last I heard about Art Prize is they haven't had the final, like, Art Prize board's vote on whether or not they're going to do it. So, oh, okay. I think that, I think everybody's kind of in that limbo. Yeah. I just showed, you know, Jesse, Jesse, you know, I bought this other head. He made a comment about my emblem, which I already had in the, the world. badge. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kenny, let me know, let me know what we can do to get you moving on that house. And, you know, if, if you're in between stuff, again, we can just practice in my basement, just like we can practice in your basement. It's not, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's warm and dry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, right. and, and also semi-finished. It's really, it would be no different. Detroit's open, guys. Just let you know. Yeah, Detroit too. I mean, I, well, you know, I'm not too worried about it, Kenny, if, if you're not. We'll figure it out. I would get that test out of the way, because once that's out of the way, that's the art part, you know. I was like, yeah, in the fourth test. Yeah, right. Whatever that, you know, certification, qualification thing is. Hey, guys. Yeah, that's my focus right now. Less than a minute. It's going to kick us out in a second. All right. Hey, did, did, okay. We'll uh, talk let's, next week. Let's, let's talk next weekend and see where sure. we're at because then by that Monday, I'll probably be calling right. or sending that stuff off. Okay. So let's have another meeting uh might have to do it friday okay uh because i think saturday and sunday i got family stuff going on or something birthday party or some shit okay i'll schedule for friday dan what were you saying i was just gonna say jesse did you see they're opening skeletons in the old spot no but that's awesome yeah they're supposed to, they're gonna do that i think later this year I'd play there too. <laughs> I don't care. Cause they got a PA and a light show. <laughs> I, they. <laughs>